What up, this is Patrick Hayes, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to hold your own as an empath or a highly sensitive person. And this is really important because for highly sensitive people and empaths, this world it can be quite difficult to navigate because there's so many dense energies, there's so many harsh energies, and when we navigate through the realm, if, we're, if we don't have techniques to use, then basically we can get swallowed by the negative energy in the field and basically it can feel like we're trapped in a low vibe that really prevents us from being able to actualize the kind of experience that we want to actualize in the world. So you may have had the experience that when you walk around, uh, you feel other people's pain, oftentimes pain that other people don't even realize that they have. And this is one of the side effects of being extremely empathic or highly sensitive is that a lot of people will cut themselves off from feeling their own pain by you know, going numb. And because we're extra sensitive, when we're around them, we are feeling their trauma field. And we can often, that can oftentimes be extremely painful, especially if we have to work with somebody like this or just due to the politics of our life, we're finding ourselves in circumstances where we have to be around people that have a lot of trauma that is unprocessed. So that's one thing that's really difficult. Another thing is that if somebody's anxious or feeling nervous, this is something that, that happens to me sometimes, is that sometimes people will be anxious to meet me. And so it's this funny thing because they're anxious to meet me and I'm not particularly anxious to meet them but there's so much anxiety coming off them that I'm feeling their anxiety and then I start to feel anxious a little bit. So you know, I've, I've developed the capacity to move that energy and then kind of come back and not be anxious but for a long time this was extremely difficult. Anytime somebody was nervous around me I started feeling nervous too. Um, while at the same time, if somebody was totally not nervous and free flowing, then I would feel not nervous and free flowing. So it, um, it, it made it hard for me to be able to help people that were coming to me for help because if they were nervous about talking to me and I got nervous, then it kind of like made the field uncomfortable for both of us. So another thing is that, you know, if we're walking around the world and there's somebody that has judgment towards us, you know, that's projecting something onto us. I know that this is common for a lot of people that, um, that, are, that consider themselves empathic, is that if somebody judges them and is seeing them through a judgmental lens, that sometimes they can almost even um, start playing the role that the person is projecting onto them because they're so sensitive to the energy that, um, that, that they kind of just fall in sync with it. And you know, most people have probably had the experience of you know, if they were doing a particular activity and they have people around them that were really doubting their abilities in that area and kind of projecting that onto them, it makes it a little bit more difficult for you to be able to um, like say succeed in that particular thing. I know that you know, different situations where, you know, when I, like when I was 16, I was taking my driving test where the guy that was, that was doing the driving test was basically, he was like really focusing on me to make a mistake. And I noticed that normal things, I passed the test, but I noticed that normal things that I knew really clearly felt like they were difficult to remember or I felt nervous about what I was gonna do because there was this extra pressure on me from that person in a sense kind of like rooting for me to fail. And this is what you see in like professional sports. And this is why they call it home court advantage or home field, field advantage. Because when you're in the other person's stadium, um, and all of these fans are hoping that you're gonna lose or mess up and they're like booing at you, that it affects your energy and your ability to perform unless you become a master. Like somebody like our, our, the, the famous Kobe Bryant and sending love out and rest in peace to Kobe. But he was a master at being able to take that and turn that into his um, fuel, right? So what I wanna share with you today is a couple techniques for being able to one, use your empathic capacity in your own favor while you're in the face of a negative energy field. And this is something that is usually not taught very often because usually it's all about creating psychic fields and kind of like protecting yourself by buffering the energy. And while this is an important key of it, and it is important to do that, it's also extremely important to work with your strengths also so that you can actually use your empathy to help you to feel higher vibe when you are in a field that is lower vibe. So I'm gonna explain that and then I'm also gonna give some other techniques for just how to move energy out of your body. So I'll start with that. One of the best ways that I've found to move energy out of my body 
is that when I'm feeling and this especially works for anxiety because anxiety gets stuck kind of in this area right here for me. When I'm feeling anxiety, um, uh, the the w my technique is to get as soft as I can within my body, right? So the tendency is to want to tense up, right? So it's to bring the consciousness into my body and get as soft as I possibly can inside my body and willing to feel the energy, not trying to avoid it, willing to feel it, but getting as soft as I can so I can actually feel it on the energetic level because the tension is basically trying to um, avoid the feeling of it. So when you relax, then you can feel it and then if you just actually breathe out as softly as you can through the bottom of your feet. So and you can do it even softer than that. I was just doing it to kind of make a demonstration. But you breathe out through the bottom of your feet and feel it go into the earth. And one day that just worked for me. And it was interesting because I had heard things like that before and it hadn't worked for me for a really long time. But one day I did that and it absolutely worked and it's worked since that. So that's extremely helpful for being able to especially release anxiety kind of energy that you're feeling in the field. Sometimes you have to do it several times if it keeps building back up, but it is extremely helpful. Now, the next key that I wanna share with you that's extremely powerful is how to use your empathy to actually help you remain in a high vibe. And this is something that's counterintuitive because like I said, usually people are talking about creating um, like psychic force fields. And I'm not gonna get into that in this video because there's a lot of videos out there, a lot of different people that teach that. And while that's totally a valid practice, I'm gonna talk about another thing that you can also do that's really potent. So this is using your empathy. So if you're an empathic person, that means that you can tune into subtle energies and you can feel subtle energies. So the whole point here is that if you're walking around outside and somebody's in a really bad mood, well, one of the things you can do is you can tune in to the energy of the trees or you can tune into the energy of the sun or you can tune into the energy of the earth, right? And you can do this because you're empathic and you're sensitive. See, the thing is, is that typically when we're around a negative vibe, our reticular activation system will get paranoid and see it as like a problem. And essentially what I mean by that reticular activation system is like our focus, right? Our focus will be like, okay, this is a problem. This is like a hostile environment. The vibe is bad. I gotta get rid of this vibe. And that's kind of the way that we're thinking about it in the moment or at least reacting to the situation. So all of our focus goes on to the negative vibe and trying to get the negative vibe off us. Now, the problem with that is that when we're doing that from a kind of uncomfortable or panic state, it can actually lock us into the vibe because we're hyper-focusing on it. And then we start resonating with it and then it keeps us stuck in that vibration. So one of the things that we can do is we can start focusing on other things to, um, so that we can empathically tune into that vibration and actually start resting our energy in that vibration. But here's the key. It's that it's, it's important not to let um, not to escape our body in order to tune into these other vibrations, right? So one of the things that people do that is maybe um, not quite as optimal as what I'm suggesting here is that people disconnect and they'll leave their body in order to avoid the pain that they're feeling in the field that they're in, right? So they'll maybe travel to the idea of something that is higher vibe, that is like far extended away from the physical body and kind of try to rest in that realm. See, eventually what that ends up doing is cutting you off from your body's intelligence and your body awareness. And this isn't something what we wanna do. It's really important to be in touch with your body's awareness. In fact, I made a video on that and I'll put a link to it right here. This is being able to get back in touch with the body so we can experience true happiness as opposed to just um, mental happiness. But anyway, so to avoid disconnecting from your, your body, what we need to do is we need to anchor the vibration of these higher vibe things into our bodies. And then when we've anchored them into our bodies and we have access to these things, then when we find ourselves in situations where the energy field is really uncomfortable, we can anchor in to the vibration of these higher vibe things that is already anchored into our body and bring that energy into our bodies. And this is actually a way of using our empathy, our sensitive ability, our ability to tune in to a vibration in our favor. 
right? So we're tuning into the vibration of the trees or of the stars or of the sun or whatever it is. So one of the ways that we can practice this is that in our free time, when we are in our own field and there's no threat of being in other negative vibrations, what we do is we meditate on the kinds of vibrations that we really, really appreciate. We meditate on things like, I meditate on the sunset every night. I meditate on the moon. I meditate on the stars. I meditate on the beautiful energy of the earth, all these kinds of different things. And I've learned to develop a relationship with these energies. And I bring these energies into my body. And then I meditate on them in my body. I bring them to different areas of my body and meditate on them in my body. And I've developed an empathic connection to those different frequencies. And so when I find myself in a situation where somebody's projecting a negative vibe, see, even in talking about this, I feel like I've calmed down, right? Because I started tuning into the energies, right? So then when I'm in a vibration where, uh, in a field where the vibration's negative, instead of trying to fight that vibration, what I can do is I can go into my body, not leave my body, go into my body and tune in to those essences of those beautiful energies and focus on them and focus on the feeling and the good feeling in my body in those moments. And by doing that, I'm actually using my sensitive capacities, my, my empathic abilities to be able to tune in to the vibrations of these beautiful things. And then this gives me the footing I need to be able to navigate through that situation without getting swept off of my feet and pulled into the negative vibe. Now, another thing that you can do that's really, really powerful that is a kind of practice for this technique is that once you start steeping into those energies and you start developing a relationship with beautiful energies, then what you can do is you can get a bunch of pictures off the internet of people making angry faces or judgmental faces or like yelling. You could even do videos that are kind of harsh to watch, right? And then you can anchor the vibration within you and then you can look at those pictures, go through the slide of those pictures and then practice feeling the energy beyond your body, the positive energy beyond your body, feeling that and then observing the, the negative face or the shouting or whatever it is on, on, in the pictures and observe that from a different space. So you're observing it from within your, your, your powerful energy field of high vibration. And you can practice that so that when this situation comes up in your everyday life, you have practice, right? And this is actually a really great way of doing it because it really gives you, it starts developing the, the pathways within your energy field and within your, your neurology for you to be able to respond to negative stimulus with a positive connection to that high vibe. So this is really, really powerful. So, and these, these pictures are easy to find. You can just go online, you can look up ugly faces or you know whatever you want and find something like that. And once you've developed that relationship, you can start practicing with that and actually it becomes a lot easier then when you're in that situation because you've dry, you've given it a dry run so many times, you've tested it so many times. So go ahead and use this technique and I guarantee you this is really going to improve your capacity to withstand negative vibrations. So thank you so much for tuning in today. This is Patrick Hayes. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you know any other sensitive people out there that this video would be helpful with, please share it with them. That would really help me. It would really help them. It would be a win-win for everyone and I would really appreciate it. So thanks again for tuning in and I will talk to you next time. One love.